Hey there, everyone. Hi, how are you? So if you don't know me, hi, my name is Winter, and I am claircognizant. I'm clairaudient, clairvoyant, and I'm clairsentient. And I also am an intuitive empath, and I use my gifts and abilities with my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. And if you're here, it's not a coincidence, and there's probably going to be a message here for you, but take only what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you would like to stick around uh, to uh, find out how you can potentially win a free 30-minute private reading, then please um, just stick around uh, to the end. And then also, uh, you could um, potentially win uh, some free money oil as well. And soon I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a free deck of tarot cards, you guys, um, that is going to be generously donated to this channel by the shop on Etsy called the Tarot Abyss or it's the, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. It's the Abyss Tarot, the Abyss Tarot. Um, and yeah, so. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. If you would like, um, you can go ahead and give me a like so that, um, you know, to have that equal energy exchange for the reading. And also I can connect with the energies of all those that do interact with me. Um, but if you don't want to, you don't have to, you can also stick around for the prayer or you can just jump straight to the reading if you'd like. But if you do want to be here for the prayer, just visualize a healing light full of unconditional love. It is um, enveloping you coming from divine source energy. You can breathe that light in and then exhale any stale, stagnant, unwanted energy. I'm going to say a quick prayer, but while I'm saying the prayer, you could go ahead and ask your spirit team to communicate with you through this reading that you're watching here from winter. and to deliver you messages that are only of your highest good and to the harm of none. I call upon you, divine source energy, divine Holy Spirit. I call upon you, spirit guides, angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascendant masters of love and light, ancestors of the highest good, and any angelic, cosmic, galactic, celestial beings, and higher light beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to any and all souls, individuals that find their way here. I thank you for guiding, blessing, and protecting this reading myself and each and every person that may be involved in this reading. I thank you for using the cards as tools to communicate and to assisting me to see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today and convey them in such a way as to enlighten, inspire, and or heal. I thank you for only honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine that are only of the greatest and highest good of all and to the harm of none with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Do you guys like this setup or would you like for me to go back to the way that it was um, before? Um, you guys just let me know how, how you like it. So, okay. Um, this particular deck is really cool. Um, I'm going to be using the book uh, that goes with this particular deck deck because it's a little it's a little unusual so i'm gonna ask spirit right now spirit please come through show me clearly which card in this deck best represents the individual viewers so they're gonna come together i look i just feel drawn to pull this one i just do look the death priestess it's card number 17 which also the star card in the major arcana is card number 17 
also that 17 would reduce to an eight. Some of you may be at a life path number eight. Their um, eights do represent effort and work. So um, with that death priestess there, it's almost like the death card and the high priestess together. So, but I want to read the book. You may be fearing something um, ending or some some sort of change or transition there may be you having to really rely upon your intuition right now as you go through any kind of major change in your life and then we've got the pumpkin baby which is interesting because we go from eight to nine this is card number 36, which would reduce to a nine. So whatever happens also, again, with the La Luna on the bottom here, which is card number 18, which would um, reduce to a nine. So we've got double nines. And the moon card in the um, tarot is the 18th card of the major arcana. So I'm picking up some Pisces energy, you guys. I'm also seeing um, spiders, maybe a confirmation. You may have um, spiders like showing up in your physical reality. Um, somebody's birthday may be around like in the fall or around like Halloween or you know, pumpkin season, like um, October, November, something like that. But let me look here at the book and see. The Death Priestess, it says, say goodbye to past conditions, refuse to suffer foolishness and fools. Proactivity, um, pro, sorry, proactively banish fear disempowerment and stagnation so the death priestess actually encourages you to destroy unhealthy habits so any kind of unhealthy behaviors or habits that you're dealing with dissolve any kind of like um, anxious thought patterns that you may have and it also says to demolish conditions that have been holding you back so for many, death is the source of one's deepest and most desperate fears. But death, but here, death is the ultimate cleanse. Because you think about it, when you, when you die in the 3D, you are actually taking off all, cleansing yourself of all the physical worries. You're, you're releasing the physical body which is very um, heavy and stagnant. So, but this is more of, this isn't like a literal death though. This is some sort of change that something in your, it, it wasn't working anymore. It's, you know, it's like when the, when the body dies, it, it, because like it's not working anymore. There's something happens to make it not work anymore. So that's what's happening in your life is something here is stagnant isn't working and there is this death to cleanse whatever this is away there is this um there's this transformational power at play in your life right now that's clearing away the old to make room for the new which is crazy because we have the pumpkin baby which is something new we've got we've got a the death and the rebirth with this baby here and so um there is um this is really a lot like the reading that i was doing earlier about like that the change and like um make way for something new so like if you're unsure about what spirit's trying to tell you right now um or like if you're unsure about what it is that you need to like banish or cleanse or release 
with the priestess there it's like maybe it's something that's deep within the subconscious or like maybe you need to like take a deeper reflective look into your life and figure out like what doesn't feel right anymore or maybe never really did or like you know look at something that had to fall away because it just wasn't working you know maybe you need to kind of set up some boundaries with people or like you need to speak up for yourself or maybe you need to actually facilitate some sort of ending you know in your life whatever this is there's definitely like something here that that is a profound change collectively that everyone that comes across this is experiencing so think about what in your life is actually changing whether it's positive um positive or negative good or bad however it is that you view it think about whatever this is that's changing in your life and understand that whatever this is that you are experiencing um it is ultimately a a part of it's going to turn out to be a positive in the long run you know and, and so even though like death is is traditionally seen as sadness is seen as a loss um it is a time of transformation there's always a season for everything um and so like you may need to like let go of something that is on the mental or emotional plane and so like if you want to experience freedom there may be this old paradigm or or pattern or behavior or habit or even story that you have to refuse to entertain for even one more moment longer you know and it's like you have to be willing to let go of the old and and embrace something new even though like and and a lot of people think that oh change is coming that's good and and wonderful and it's going to be amazing but just because you hear change or see change that's not always like the best thing to happen but ultimately spirit is saying that that is part of this free for you to find freedom in whatever this is that is changing and to allow yourself to not feel um the stronghold of grief or loss to really just embrace that um that change and understand that that is part of life just like death is a part of life and you know we have to come to terms with whatever this is that's changing and accept it and understand that the old saying of whenever god closes a door he always opens a window or where I like to think it whenever a goddess closes a door, she always opens a window. That's the case here. It's like, even though, and because we do go from the eight to the nine, whenever goddess closes a door, she is going to open a window. So understand that something, a chapter, a door may be closing no matter how good or bad. There's going to be a window that is opened for you. And I feel like that's the whole thing is right now, collectively, we're all experiencing some sort of change, whether it's, you know, um, ending a job or, you know, um, dealing with um, sickness or disease or someone crossing over or, you know, there's something in life that that is out of our control that we have to understand that this is departing from our life whatever it is but goddess is going to open a window for something here to not necessarily better not necessarily worse 
but it's something new that is coming in that is going to really renew your hope and your faith and, and give you something to look forward to with the pumpkin baby showing up here. And you do have um, support of spirit and ancestors, even though it may feel lonely or you may not understand what's going on or there may be some uncertainties there is a lot of support and i'm also seeing different aspects of yourself from all different timelines different universes different versions of yourself and it, and you may need to really like call in all these different fragmented aspects of the self at this time and it's like this kind of coming together let me get the book and look here at card number 36 but i do feel like that's why and it says look you've con you have conceived of something magical you are about to bring forth a beautiful new beginning condition or project prepare for a profound and positive change. Oh my God. Like what are the odds? Seriously? So collective, those of you, and I don't get a whole lot of views on this channel. So understand that if you've come across this, it's, and you've decided to stay and you're listening and any of this is resonating, understand that the divine is here right now, communicating with you, talking to you. It's not a coincidence at all. You know, this is not, this is like, just imagine, think about like how big the world is and all the millions of other readers. Even if you've come across me before and you're subscribed and you've been with this channel for a long time, it doesn't matter. The fact that you would find this channel out of literally millions of other videos you could have come across. Spirit is taking this opportunity to communicate to you and let you know that yes, something is ending. But there is something being born, though. There is something new coming in its place. You are this magical being, and there is this energy of being pregnant with possibility. You know, there is this birth of this new creative project. And, you know, maybe um, this is like a new home for some of you, or this is like, you know, a, an opportunity to really um, just create anything in your life this is the beginning of something this is the beginning of um like bringing in something new that is like this sacred sort of alchemy you know where you're planting this seed and you have to wait and begin to see it sprout and then eventually like um start to see it grow and, and blossom and bloom and there is this supernatural mother mother goddess that is so pleased with you that is so proud of you that is so proud of her child for um it's almost like a mother watching her mother her child give birth and even though you're you may not be a female and even though you may not you know it's not it's not pregnancy or necessarily pregnancy but you are mother goddess child nonetheless and you are pregnant with possibilities and she is so proud of you and she is so nurturing you and and encouraging you and so like there are fears though every brand new mother always has fears you know about her her baby so whatever this is for you there may be some fears about 
some new project or some changes that you're going through, something new that's happening <clears throat> in your life, no matter how exciting or or intimidating or positive or negative, no matter what it is that you, you're seeing here, there there is still some fears So um, about whatever this is. But like you can minimize your fears and magnify your joy just by listening to the high priestess within you to, by listening to the wisdom and the, the, the angels that are surrounding you as you, you know, go into this, um, new era, you know, maybe, um, taking care of yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit, eating healthy, exercising, getting sleep, you know, embellishing the the nursery the nursery you know like gathering and organizing and <clears throat> strategizing and being creative and getting the the tools that you need and preparing you know um wisely and conscientious conscientiously preparing for what's to come next with the birth of whatever this is, this new newness for you. And it's like, there is changes happening going on, but there is something happy, some sort of uh, uh, happy new change that's going to transform your life forever, much like the birth of a new baby transforms the parent's life forever. That's what this is. And so Spirit's telling you to take time to nurture it to make way for it, to welcome it, and to step proudly into this new important role in your life that that no matter how scary it may seem, you know, no matter what feelings you're feeling right now, understand that every single thing that you're feeling right now is extremely natural, just like brand new mothers, you know, the women out there, you'll understand. And even you fathers, you'll understand too, you know, when you become a new parent, how scary and, and, and thrilling and exciting, but, you know, terrifying it is at the same time. And so, um, look, we got self-love on the bottom of the deck and then look, resolution, whatever it is that you've been struggling with, maybe there's some sort of change, there's something here coming to an end, whatever it is that you've been struggling with is about to be resolved. Remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want, but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief. So give yourself some self-care, nurture yourself, eat right, eat healthy, get creative, strategize, plan, and prepare. Trust yourself. That card that I just seen when I split the deck was trust in yourself. Spirit, can we get a message from the Akashic Records for the viewers that are here listening to your divine wisdom? Whoa. Okay, you guys. Give me just a second. The cards went flying up underneath my desk. I got it. Crawl my. Okay. Whoa. Look. These are the two that I had to go all up underneath my desk for. It says. Release judgment and find the lesson. So. Whatever this judgment is, whether it is of yourself or others, maybe the change that you're going through, something here is clouding your vision. Release it and see the world and your path with clear eyes and find the lesson. Something has happened and it stopped you in your tracks. Maybe it's this change that you're going through. But whatever it is, you know, like when someone finds out they're pregnant, like that's something that can stop you in your tracks. Not necessarily pregnancy, I understand, but I'm using that as an analogy because this is general. So in reality, it was simply teaching you where you needed to grow. 
there is no such thing as failure. So pick yourself up, learn from it and keep going. And then we've got study here on the bottom of the deck. And it says a new endeavor is upon you. It may require new knowledge and skills. Put the intention out to the universe and the right teacher will soon find you. So it's like, let's just use this as an analogy. You know, something here is you're trying to learn, right? You're trying to study. Look at this. It says study. And this person here is in this book. You know, they're studying, they're learning. You may feel like you're, and there's all these butterflies around this person here, which represents change. So something here is changing and spirit wants you to find the lesson in whatever this is. And maybe you need to send a message out into the universe to help you find someone or something to help you learn where you need to grow, to learn, you know, the lesson to help you, um, on your journey, your spiritual journey. Maybe you are looking for a mentor, someone that can teach you, um, you know, about a particular area of life or, or your spiritual gifts, or, you know, maybe you're looking for like a group guru or something, but you're being asked right now to be at peace with this acceptance things. It, you may be on a bit of a difficult road, but look, stand your ground. Things are a bit difficult. This feels like a continuation for the reading that I did this morning. But you may be um, on, on a difficult road right now. It may be a little challenging. You may have been stopped in your tracks, but spirit is saying that you have a spirit of perseverance. You're being prepared for great things. You're being prepared for a great, wonderful new beginning, for greatness to be the leader of this new project or this new beginning here in your life. You're being prepared for greatness that's why now is a time for you to step back, to study, to learn, to analyze, to, you know, maybe, you know, like, like parents might take, um, new, uh, pregnant parents may take like Lamaze class or, um, like a parental class or something like that. You know, I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying that's what spirit is saying. Like take time to get prepared, to study, to prepare for this new endeavor here, you know, um, you may need to like gain a sense of perspective right now, taking a step back and gaining a sense of perspective. You may be too close to the situation to truly see it for what it is. And it may be causing some fear. So you need to release judgments on yourself or the situation so that you can get a better picture so that you can understand better so that you can have clear vision of this new project or this new door this new sorry the new window that's opening for you span your view span out and view your life from a distance so you can get the perspective needed stand your ground if there's something you want you have to fight for it again maybe you're you're choosing to hide whether you realize it or not, you may be kind of hiding from something or avoiding something. Create a boundary, speak up for what you believe in, stay focused, stand your ground, you know, stick to your guns like we got earlier um, this morning. Um, I'm going to pull it, just pull one tarot card, you guys, because I am really tired. Um, and like drained so look stand your ground release any kind of judgments against yourself against the situation finding acceptance but look stand your ground and fight stick up for yourself you know don't back down can i get and i just saw the nine of pentacles so we've seen nine 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 in the reading One single jumping card only, please, spirit. Or one single, one single card. The two of swords. So you may need some more information before moving forward with the two of swords. Things may be a bit stagnant 
when the two of swords shows up you know you're um, maybe at, at a crossroads and you've got a choice or a decision because sometimes that's the two of swords maybe you're feeling caught in the middle of like uh, family issues or like some sort of decision waiting on a decision you may be in denial about something ending or something that needs to end you know you may um feel like you're being dragged into something there may be some missing information that you just need to take time to get more information on you know maybe you're caught in a bit of a bind in some in some area like burying your head in the sand so to speak I feel like maybe right now something might feel just unclear to you maybe the outcome or you know the future something just feels unclear and spirit is saying like you just have to have faith that you're moving in the right direction and and trust your intuition to give you the guidance that that you need maybe you're having a difficult time following your intuition or or like you know there there are two paths and it's like you, you may have to choose your head or your heart or vice versa. Maybe your voice or the voice of others. What is it that's keeping your vision clouded or that's keeping you from seeing clearly? trying to figure out like what are your next steps so anyways you guys there there definitely whatever it is it feels like there's a bit of a dilemma and you're needing to take time to figure out like what is the lesson clear look and it says with clear eyes so it may be judgment that is clouding your decisions or your choices or the path ahead or the ability to um see period so I'm going to leave that there. And if any of this reading resonated with you, or if you would like to try to win either the 30 minute private reading upload, or if you'd like to try to win the money oil, all you've got to do is make sure you're subscribed, like, and comment. And if you want to try to win the money oil, um, you can win the money oil, but you won't, and you won't have to pay, uh, no shipping or anything. I'm going to pay for that out of my own pocket if you live in the U S. Um, but you, when you comment, make sure to leave a money symbol. Um, and if you're looking to book a reading, then just reach out to me, uh, through email or text. And all that info is in the description box and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.